Hi. How are you doing, Zanthi? I'm good. How are you, Robert? <laughs> How are you feeling? Easy. <laughs> Let me do It's the, all good, the, folks. The story. It's everything is good. Everything is under control. No stress whatsoever. No technical issues. Exactly. You know, every <laughs> everything's all hunky dory here, folks. <laughs> Just the usual Wait, like... day in the life of a streamer or streamers. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, hang on, I think I forgot to hit one more button. Mm. Welcome, everyone. Okay. Welcome to another Pop Goes the Stream episode. Today's is all about the 90s. Well, hey, back then in the 90s, the technology was not as advanced as it is now. Or maybe it was, but people were not using it. So I guess we are in role. Like, I don't know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, every 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 uh, everything needs to have a, a start uh into bigger and better things and what or yet it all started in the nineties with uh with technology and stuff. So uh yeah. So if anything, yeah. uh I, it's it's at least I'm kinda like uh, you know, going about it as if it was in the nineties with the, all the tech stuff. So uh <laughs> but no I, I'm 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 really excited today because uh uh for today um we'll have uh uh Xanthi's uh, uh co host from uh Get Your Geek On and uh uh, Xanthi, is it learn how to play Minecraft? Is that is that the correct? Okay. Yes. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just find it hilarious the the see see them in action uh, online. And uh, I think it was like last week when uh, you were both on. And um, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get scared. We're talking about because... games from the '90s, kind of. So. Yep. Hello, exactly. Matt. Hey, Matt. So... Uh, and it was it was funny because like she was going into. The games and and Xanth a joke that uh, if this keeps up, it just leads into our our show. And I thought for the heck of it, I'd see if she'd be interested in joining. Sure enough, yeah. I mean, she it's said, all about "Yeah, nineties today, yes." So ex it seems exactly. appropriate. Exactly. So, um, so yeah. So I I figure you know it's always uh, cool to have uh, um, more of the merrier. So let me uh, see if I can try to dial her in here. So you have yes, do your. Do your magic. All right, hang on. Nine, the second best decade. Yes. Oh, are we going that old school? Yeah. I get goosebumps by hearing that song. Robert? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get the work. <laughs> Are you using your modem to log in and go live? Pretty much. <laughs> there she Hello? is. There she Hello? is. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear us? Yes. Press yes. zero, we used to say back then. Back in Greece. I, <laughs> I meant that she had me going like, oh, God, don't tell me I didn't bring her in. No, for real. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Matt, is, uh, said, Matt says that he lost his AOL installer CD-ROM. Oh, shit. Wow. That's a problem. I, I think we have one as a coaster, so if we can find it, I'll send it to you, Matt. So. Exactly. I mean, where when was that point where we were, you know, one day we were just keeping all of our CD-ROMs scratch-free because they wouldn't play, and then we went on in using them as coasters. Oh, God. Probably like what? Um early 90s or so i mean i i mean as as much as we joke i still have my aol uh email account so but i think i use it mostly to send the spam mail, mail over there so you know i use icq me too really yeah oh man I, I, I heard that was the most secure i don't know if that's true but i've heard that it had all the information about all IPs. I, mm, I don't Did think everything okay. was not secure. Well, well, that's not true then. <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe it was. Now I'm going. Where is George when we need him? Uh, yeah. Sending files. Maybe it was secure. But I think if someone wanted to sneak in on you, they could see where you. I don't know. I don't remember. It was. Yes. It was a long time ago. Yes. But maybe. I totally forgot about well, ICQ. I, I like that you can like send noises to the other person because you can just yes. press the buttons and just noises. 
And uh, I liked it that it was like moving like, uh oh, uh oh, and then uh -oh. it had like a little note. I, I, oh, I think it was the best. Yes. yes. See, like, okay. um, Would... mm -hmm. no, I, I totally forgot, forgot about ICQ. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of stuck with the, the old instant messengers with AOL. In fact, um, I think, I think we just used our email accounts as the ID, but I mean, did you guys use the AOL instant messenger? We, I, I didn't have AOL. I don't know if it was, I mean, it's American online. We didn't really have it here in no, Europe. I don't think, uh. I just heard I had, it from yeah. other Americans. Exactly, from chatting with other Americans about AOL mm. and American Online. I had Yahoo. Yeah, AIM is was another one, but I, I also have only heard that from another AIM. American. Right. Ooh, AIM. What does AIM stand for? Uh, uh, arrogant Itchy Meat? Uh, I can't remember. Um. <laughs> We're European. I'm sure... We didn't have those things. Yet. <laughs> Good one. I'm sure someone will know because I can't remember it for the life of me. Um, but we had MSN, but... uh, not MSN. MSN came later, like Microsoft the oh. chat bubbles. But that was yeah, the chat rooms with the bubbles, That's... like yeah. Thanks, okay. John. It was messenger. Yeah, America. I am instant messenger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's why we missed it. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> it's it's what we call a brain fart, folks. So yeah, so that's that's what AIM uh, stands for. Thank you, John. But uh... Uh, we went straight into the technology. All the preparation we had is yeah. Is I mean, because like, like <laughs> well, that's cool. Because like, I mean, when I remember, like before you had uh, like the uh, Chrome as the the big browser was like. Um, Netscape was the big thing, and so uh, I know like it was big when I was in, in in college, where you know a lot of people just use it to, like look up uh, uh, sports scores or just um, or just like the various like things you see like uh, entertainment stuff is which was big, but the, instead of like using it for like looking up uh, books and stuff like that. I mean, dude, Netscape you was you had to buy it, right? Or was it? <laughs> Well, I mean, because like it happened during when I was in college, so it was, it's it was like on the old, the old uh, CRT computers and stuff. So, um, it was just a, another way to interface uh, the, the get on and get online and everything. So, we used it at school. We had it in the library to search for for information. That and Lexus Nexus. <laughs> no, that I don't no? Uh, no. It was only Netscape, if I remember. Because I think, I guess, I think ne Lexus Nexus that was like a, a separate uh, system that uh, that were that was in the libraries to like look up uh, articles or books and stuff like that. Then they have like all the other like monitors and computers where okay. if folks want to go online um, and find things. But most of it was just mostly a lot of like, articles and stuff like that. Um, I don't have a memory, but Prodigy. Prodigy, as in the band, the music band, or is it something else? Hi, Grim. CompuServe, that does ring a bell. CompuServe days. Yeah, it's it's it was like it was a big uh, computer company that came around the same time, like as Dell and uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, and uh, and other P other PCs. So Compaq, I think it was. Yeah. Um, it was an online service. Okay. I, no. Oh, okay. I know the band. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, we Europeans, we have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. Man, I'm I... not sure if it is an American thing, but we have never heard of it. Yeah, okay. I, uh, mm. I, I totally, I totally forgot that it's, uh, it's also the band there, and. Uh, uh, it wasn't as as far reaching as I thought it was. Um, <laughs> good God! Yeah, as I said, I mean, here we at least we me interesting. We had ICQ, and then it was Yahoo for me. I was using Yahoo a lot, Yahoo Messenger, and Yahoo Email. Mm -hmm. That was my first. I think I first made Yahoo and then Hotmail. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Grims, uh, Prodigy. So all of you Americans, you know about Prodigy. That was an online service. Okay. Okay. Well, it was also the band too. 
<laughs> well, the pro ah, the it was prodigy. the prodigy. Yes, oh, okay, okay. the prodigy or the or the yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, <laughs> yes. but I mean, but when you, but it's it's amazing you move from from the early stages from what you have from there, and then you with uh, Microsoft's uh, Windows ninety five, and then you, know, you have the internet nineties. Yeah, like you have Yahoo, and then later on. Google exploding with its search engine, and then later Chrome. I mean, it's just like who remembers Metacrawler? Don't make me come over there. Breathe was a great song. Yes. <laughs> did, did you use Metacrawler before Google? No. Does anyone remember uh, it? I I I think I was too intimidated to try it. So um. <laughs> actually, I don't remember what it was between Netscape and. Uh, Google. I don't remember. So Netscape, Netscape was a browser, and then uh, what did I use? I didn't use Netscape. Net, Alta I had Vista, Netscape. Yes. The free. Alta, Alta Vista. Vista. Yes, and yeah. then Lycos or, or Lycos, or how do you say it? Lycos. We said Lycos. I was going to defer to you for the pronunciation. <laughs> well, Lycos, it sounds because Lycos is Greek for wolf, but I think it's an American company, so it's pronounced Lycos. I think you're right, but I just didn't know like what the proper pronunciation was. And I, I, I'm not saying that it was named after the Greek word. It's just that it coincided that it was written like that. So yeah, but Alta Vista, of course, Alta Vista. We remember, yeah, like because the fresh maker head in hands. No, I, I don't understand <laughs> all of your <laughs> references, <laughs> John. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, the pronunciation, what would it be like? Lycos? How would you say it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it... well, lichens is uh, the word for a wolf, like uh, change the shape shift of wolves. <laughs> Correct. So I guess yeah. lichens, I'm not sure. I don't know. And I don't remember it either. I remember Alta Vista. Hmm. Hmm. So you, Robert, after Netscape, you yes. went to Google or yeah i mean yeah. uh yeah it, it and i think at that time because like most folks when they were just using the the search engine it was just like more like for research purposes so it wasn't until like you know much later it's, you start creeping in there like for, for like more like entertainment purposes like just reading articles of like or like for me like i always like to see like what sports scores are or sports report but uh but yeah the news the, i'm sorry pretty much was... yeah um, uh, Firefox was that a search engine or was that Firefox is a browser? That's a browser. Yes. That so yeah, I Netscape is Google. a browser. Yes, and you Firefox used right. It was back then also Firefox, was it? I think so. Yes, but all of them they had some oh, sort of search right. mechanism engine. Yeah. Right. So. It's a long time ago. It's many, many years ago. Oh, God. Internet Explorer, of course. <laughs> How can yeah. we forget about that? You still use it at work, actually. But now it's kind of getting now, closed up. But, um, now it's called it Edge. Edge, yes. We have Edge now at work. Yeah. 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 I mean, I still get the warnings where they want me to use the Edge instead of Internet Explorer. And uh, I think once they started like playing nasty and just like making uh, IE uh, useless for me to open things, I'm like, all right. Are you okay. still using Internet Explorer, Robert? Uh, depending which computer I'm using. Okay. If it's something that was made from the last century, <laughs> but don't. But don't worry. Uh, the laptop I have now is fairly new, so it's uh, I have a uh, Chrome. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, voice over the whole seat will cost you $20, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> you you probably mean, understand what that means. Yeah, we, I don't understand either. <laughs> Sorry. No, I think it's too here. many, too many references that we don't get. Maybe. And I'm no sorry worries. that my text is on the wrong way. I don't know how to change. <laughs> It mirror. reminds me of how I had it the other day when I was live with yeah. Chris Kelly <laughs> had it mirrored. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how to change it. 
Well, no worries. I mean, if, uh, if people on, watch on the settings, on the I think on the setting, no, no, it's not. Forget it. No. It's not. Oh, you're gonna I say didn't like say anything? It's it's okay. like uh, I think like. Oh, okay. I, I can try to go backwards too, but uh, I I don't know how to talk backwards either. So. <laughs> no. I love it. Okay. Um. So. Let's try and be a bit structured because we have made some preparation, you guys. Okay, we have prepared a few things. We have made lists and everything of things to discuss, to talk it's about. Well, so. It is. So uh, while I try to dig that out, uh, Xanthia, I'll, I'll let you uh, take over for, for the topic that you had, had ready for us. Well, first thing that I have written here is like, okay, 90s, many of us, how many of us were teenagers or young adults? I think all of us because we are old people i guess i was a teenager i don't know (laughs) 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 i just had to pull something off off the computer but i didn't want to make any noise while you guys talking so that's why i figured pull myself off but i'm still here i'm just operations exactly i mean there's (laughs) i can talk in um circles it's in restream so okay by the yeah. way, rest in peace to the Saved by the Bell revival. Looks like people has cancelled it. Saved by the Bell. Do you see that the background is very Saved by the Bell, right? So, exactly. Thank you for the nice pass, John, because we wanted to talk about TV series and films of the 90s and music and games, of course, and, of course, technology. I guess it's very hard to not go into this tech rabbit hole for us because we have lived it pretty much. Um, but yeah, but the majority of us were either teenagers or young in our youth, like in early 20s. I was a teenager. I was like in my between 11 and 9, 20, 11, 20. That, oh my God, 10 years. Okay. 10 years. I was life. a little bit younger. I was eight. Until 18. Well, uh, yeah, uh, I was 17. Uh, 17. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, I just were... like saying I was a little bit older, so I was in college at that time, or or, or close to, depending where in the nineties. Talk about either in college or uh, about to graduate from college. So, so I joke that it's still relatively fresh in my mind, but now as I look at what we're talking about, some of it's just kind of like, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. But I guess we pretty much all remember since we were old enough to remember and leave the 90s and the transition yeah. from no internet to internet yeah. and all those tv shows like saved by the bell of course and yeah. can i just say beverly hills here and melrose <laughs> place hello yeah oh yeah <laughs> D- team dylan okay i don't want to hear about so- brandon <laughs> okay I was going to joke about an older show for like the Beverly Hillbillies and say Jed Clampett, but I'm like, <laughs> that's a lot older show. Don't worry about it. So just me okay. trying to be silly. I didn't really like any of those guys. I'm not sure who I liked. What, what did you say? Who was the little geeky guy? I like the geeks. <laughs> oh, Are Screech? we talking about say by the bell screech? No, we're talking about Beverly Hills. Geeky. He was the one guy that kind of was in the in the tech room all the time. He was like having some kind of own show at the school. David Grinch. I don't. The Grinch. But he was a DJ. He... he was the Grinch. Kind of... <laughs> no. <laughs> was he in Doctor Seuss? <laughs> he wasn't against Christmas. No, he was. Uh, he was a little cute. Geeky guy. I don't like the bad boys. I didn't like Dylan. He was a bad boy. Well, well, yeah, but then he turned out to be like, yeah, well, he was a bit ups and downs. Yeah, but he, but Brown thought he was too perfect. He was like the too good boy. And and he was like, no. Geeky, wait, I'm trying to think that. Well, he has been in the tech room or in the newsroom. He was in the newspaper, the school newspaper, right? Yeah, exactly. Maybe you remember him. Okay, yeah. Maybe yeah, he yeah. Was Screech. I, I'm not sure. No, Screech was in uh, Saved by the Bell. Oh, okay. Is that a, yeah. okay? I never actually never have seen, seen 
take five then. I don't know. I just missed that. So, but is it technically nineties? Did it start it in the eighties? Well. No, it was 90s, right? 90s. Well, yeah. it was very 90s. I don't know. Maybe they didn't show it in Sweden. They, I was living uh, in Greece I didn't at the have time. Cable, eh? I didn't have cable. So it might have been a show that oh. it was on cable. We, we only oh. had the, like... The three, SVT, yeah. one, and two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't um, in the area at the time, so I don't know, so... Um, but uh, let's see, we have some timelines here, pop culture timeline, the biggest pop culture moments of the yeah. 90s here. Mm. And it starts with the, the, the 2000 bug, the late, speaking of tech, the late 90s, it was the, the, the Y2K bug, that the millennium bug, that it would be 2000 and everything will stop working. It didn't yeah. happen. It didn't happen. We're still here. Yeah. Unfortunately, and, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the things on the internet shouldn't be there, actually. True. But yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. But uh, do you remember it? I mean, what was it like in Sweden? Were you worried? No. Or do no. And we're talking about airplanes that they will. Hmm? Okay. No really not i mean i was in school i didn't really think about those kind of things maybe mm -hmm. if i was working at the time and like working uh, like i'm do now i work work in healthcare maybe i should have been would have been a bit worried but i wasn't but actually we didn't really use computers back then in the healthcare uh, we started using uh, like a journal system a computer system in, in 2008 actually so we had okay. paper journals to them. Safe way. It was safe. No millennium bug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's funny that this article starts with the, the latest, like 1999. Uh, but then it says it talks about the Tamagotchi. I never yeah. had a Tamagotchi. I didn't. I had one. It died instantly. Like all <laughs> my pets. I, I'm not a pet person. <laughs> And not <laughs> a plant person either. I just know. Uh, <laughs> man, but, um, what did you have to do with the Tamagotchi? Did you have to feed it feed or? It and, yeah. And like pay it attention. You had to play with it, I think. So that okay. was the beginning of people having a short attention span because those that didn't uh, fit the camera Gucci. <laughs> so. Okay. So. I I don't know. I, I I never really was got into it because I I mean I didn't really get the idea like it's it's a virtual pet and beat it. Yeah, like, it was what? for kids. It was for kids. I mean I was in um, uh, like what do you, I don't know pre high school. What do you call it? I don't know. Junior high. Junior high. I guess. I was like 11 years old. It's okay. It's Is that right? It's I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, it's it's yes. probably better than what we had was like uh, where you had the Tamaguchi. In my times, we had the pet rock. So, I mean, you couldn't really do much with a rock. So, <laughs> okay. other than maybe like use as a paperweight. But that's all I got. <laughs> But also, I totally missed the time. I mean, I have seen. I I, was, I don't know why I how I missed it. How did I miss it? But, but you anyway. was also a, a teenager. It was more in my age, I think. I mean, for kids, maybe. Yeah, well, I, I think knew, so. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. You didn't want um, Tamaguchi when you were like fifteen. Yeah. Well, the other pop culture here or milestones from that article, it's, of course, very generic boy bands and girl bands and Spice Girls and Take That. I, I don't want to hear... What? I wasn't into... No. I had... My friend was... And I just didn't understand that. They were so in love with the, what, the blonde guy in <laughs> Backstreet Boys. No, no, I no, 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 no. I just it. Backstreet Boys, they were not cool, okay? Okay. I mean, <laughs> if you come from Take That, you cannot like, even though now I might enjoy 
some other songs from Backstreet Boys. Yeah, actually, oh, I man. did enjoy the songs, but I didn't get the whole girl crush thing, like screaming and everything. I, I never. Okay, I have really... a good. Not... Okay, can I say my. Okay. Of course, I was into rock music, okay, and Guns N' Roses, and then 90s, the grunge, uh, you know, like Pearl okay. Jam and Soundgarden yep. and everything. But um, secretly, I was secretly enjoying the boy bands. And I, I had a crush with Take That, all of them. I don't know if you know Take That, they were from uh, UK or Britain, like, yeah, <clears throat> not Americans. So, and they, well, we had also New Kings on the Block. Mm. I'm not really going to say, well, well, okay, I had a crush on one of them, <laughs> secretly, <laughs> secretly, because it was Guns okay. N' Roses, of course, that they are the Roses queen. is gone now. <laughs> um, but, so, yeah. But uh, um, let me see if I can pull this up. I know this pull is up, against the list. Yeah, pull up right. uh, stuff. So, oh, I'm also stuck in that. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, so I mean, something. Wait a minute. <laughs> Look at that list. <laughs> Smells like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. I mean, hello, of course, in the nineties, guys, girls in the chat, thirsting, Robert, everyone, participate, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the nineties top ten, but it's in not um, specific oh, order. Uh, well, so, who remembers? So they... Yes. So I know, like. The... Most of the uh, the charts. This one came from the uh, the timeout article, uh, pretty much a couple months ago, and they listed Nirvana's "A Smell Like Teen Spirit" as the number one uh, single in the, the '90s. Yes. Um, yes. Then you have uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg's "No Diggity." That was in 1996, and '94 you had "Juicy" by Notorious B.I.G. Uh, the Funk with Daft Punk in '95, and that same year you had uh, Pulp's "Common People." Yes. Uh, the number six was Porter, Porter's Heads, Glory Box. Yes. Blur's uh, 97 hit, uh, Beetle Bum, uh, Massive Attacks, Unfinished Symphony, uh, My Bloody Valentine Soon in 91, and at number 10, TLC's Waterfall. I probably maybe know a handful. I mean, I mean, I, I'm. I probably I'm, know them if I hear them, but I don't know the names of them. I know 70%. That means if it are the ten, I know seven out of ten. And I totally I, I agree about being the top ten. Maybe there are more that should belong there. Where is Guns and Roses? See, that's the thing, because like um that's there's a ah, yeah, because like Nirvana, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not I mean they are rock, but more grunge, but yeah, rock. No, yeah. Grunge, no. Yes. I mean, I, I don't know if that's just lends to the Arab that uh, that more the as you like to say the grunge and uh, um, that 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 heavy not I don't want to say dark but just like like a heavy tone of music that was more prevalent than it was country. But I don't know. I mean, I, I'm I'm just grasping at straws here as to as to why some of the others uh, didn't make it to the top there. Uh, yes. Just... Mm. I love that song. What happened to those? Hi, Olympia. <laughs> but uh, who knows for here from the chat? Uh, who recognizes like Portishead? And of course, uh, let me. Uh, do you agree? Do you know uh, there are many of those? I mean, Pulp, Portishead, Daft Punk, and Blur, Massive Attack, Europeans like uh, Daft Punk. I think they're friends. The others, they are English or British or what is the correct? I don't know. UK. I'm so confused with the whole. Mm. Is it England, I UK, Great it's Britain? Out there. Yeah, that. <laughs> Those. <laughs> the island. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hope I don't get cancelled. I don't know. What is it no. politically correct I to think, say? I think British is. British, yes. yes. That. I just I just say other side of the pond, so, you know. Um, <laughs> okay. For us, us bit, uh, yes. The entire yeah, Europe I mean, the other side of the pond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because like usually, like I hear like names like Michael Jackson, uh, Whitney Houston, you know, of, of those elk. So when I saw this, when I saw this list, there, I'm like, where they go? But I think they're probably looking at more like worldly view. Is is how my my guess is. 
Uh, well, I have to say that in the 90s, the whole Manchester scene, oh, okay. like British, it was kind of big, at least in my world, right. back in Athens, and I guess, yeah, Europe a lot. So Blur, Oasis, Portrait Massive Attack, those things. Uh, pulp, were they big in the US? Pulp, they should, I guess. I I'm, not, I'm, not, I, I'm not really uh, familiar with Pulp. That was the first time I've heard of them. Uh... I'm sure if you hear the song, you will recognize it. Who knows in the chat who put the pulp or pulp? I think it's just pulp. I don't. Please. Right. You, you, you definitely right, know. I, I probably have heard them, but I'm just so bad at well, names. No, no, uh, no, so I, I, I probably remember if I hear the songs. But, uh, okay. Yeah. As I, I, I hear pulp, I think orange pulp. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, it's no, yeah, no. Okay. Let's get to another list, maybe that we all probably recognize. Bring okay, up another so, list. All right. So uh, the other one I had here was for for movies. And uh, hang on. And I'm still stuck. <laughs> I'm st you're still stuck. <laughs> yeah, but you, Why you so are serious? Focusing, you're focusing on this list. <laughs> all right. I, I think this is when she was like saying, uh, I can't hear Kristen. I'm like, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> but. But I but have some the of these same problem with this list, actually. I I, Which... I I see two two movies that I have seen. One I've okay. only seen half of it. <laughs> so I'm sorry, so... I'm not. One. No, no. Two. I recognize three films from this one. To be honest, also, where do you get your information? Uh... The Rolling... It's from the right Rolling the Stone. Yep, it's from Rolling the Rolling Stone. So this was written in 2017. So, but even then, uh, it's I, I had to like I, I sent information over to Kirsten because like I kind of laughed as to like who they had that uh, put together the list, and they were essentially like people like film buffs, you know, uh, writers, just people with like, eclectic tastes in the pop culture. So, so when I saw that, I'm like, okay, it makes sense, but still, you know, come on. I mean, some Can I, I didn't see, see like hmm? yeah. yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Let's hear no, it. you you didn't say. Maybe you will say what I want to say. Continue. Well, no, no I was just gonna say, like, I mean, what they thought was the top ten wasn't on my not not certainly wasn't on my top ten because like like movies I remember like uh, I know Jurassic Park was big. Yeah, uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. See, uh, Terminator Two, T Two. Um, that is what I was about to say. Thank you. Exactly. Where is Terminator right. Two? Exactly. I mean, I think it was like near. Somewhere in the mid or the near bottom, I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is these people that made this list? I know exactly. I mean, I mean, I don't see their names, but they just said they were like a panel that the the Rolling Stones had put together. I'm like, well, all right. But I mean, it, it was it was wide enough that it was just like, okay, maybe a cross section of like different tastes, but some of it's like more like more indie uh, uh, or <laughs> exactly That's Matrix. Where is the Matrix exactly? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I don't know if I want to say this because it, it didn't rank as high as I thought it would. So um, take it back. You didn't say. You didn't say anything. Okay, I didn't hear. Did I say anything? I I, I I don't remember saying anything. See, Sorry, that's why I'm she's joking. looking the way she was. I'm so. I'm so. should okay. have made our list. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing, because like what their list is is certainly not our list. I mean, I know like. You know, like Forrest Gump, I didn't see uh, on there, which I was surprised. Correct. Yeah. I mean, Silence of the Lamb. Okay, good. But exactly, Forrest Gump. I mean, that's yeah. a huge uh, film that, like, everyone has seen. Uh, I see here, I just did a, a Google here. Okay, we have The Matrix, yeah. Total Recall, Gattaca, yeah. The Rock. Yeah. With Sean yeah. Connery and Nicholas Cage, you know. Rock. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, with, with the Rock with the Sean Connery and Nicholas Cage, you know, escaping from yes, know, escape from Al in Greek right. in Greece it was translated Escape from Alcatraz. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, because the rock is just a rock like what? Okay, yeah. Um <laughs> Sleepy Hollow, yeah, yeah, Scream. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Scream. Horror it's movies, not you know. a good movie, but okay. I have seen it, but I didn't think it was a good movie. So, no, it's but it's... Movie for its... sorry, 
I mean, Scream is a is a pop culture. It's a milestone. At least everyone knows. That. I mean, yeah, Scream. Yeah, and they have a new version now. Like, what is it? Twenty years after Scream. Have you seen it? <laughs> Yeah, it was all right. I mean, it, I like I how they try to like make callbacks of the original Scream, and just in terms of just how they take the idea and flip it. I don't want to spoil it too much for the people that haven't seen it or plan to, but it's just it is consistent with the theme of just taking the horror genre and just kind of flip it on its end of things that people are accustomed to as to how the plot line goes and stuff like that. So, so when it first came out, it it was big because that was the first time it introduced that that whole idea, like not quite a mind bender, but just like a twist on on the uh, expectations of how a horror movie would go. Mm. Although I reserve the right to be wrong, so. Well, I haven't seen it, so I can accept, I, I can believe you that it's not as good as, you know, like, it was okay. <laughs> it makes about, it sounds right <laughs> that it was okay. It sounds right. I mean, the Even. first movie wasn't good. Did you think it was good? <sighs> it wasn't the scary thing that I couldn't sleep at night. So I guess that is a criteria of not being as good because I get easily scared. So, yeah. I mean, most horror movies, I'm kind of like looking at it this way. So. Oh. I yeah, I, mm, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not as good <laughs> with the horror, but I, I, it's like, I want to see them, but I get scared. You know, I'm like, yeah, like this with a pillow. Reserve the right to be cruel, to be kind. Okay. Uh, it's <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Is that from the 90s? I don't know, but I guess so. Cruel to be kind. Isn't that the... Am I wrong? I don't remember. I don't know. He's very cryptic, John. Yeah. I, I think it's a song. <laughs> yes. But, uh, oh, no, it just reminds me of a different song, but that's of a different genre. I think a different era, so I'll... I'll it for another time but, um yes no no I, but i mean yeah to, i mean to your point i mean what the list that they came up with is totally different than than what, what we think or what was important and, and it's it's a common theme with most yeah. of these uh top 10 lists and uh and it's just a matter of just uh you know you just kind of roll with it sure <laughs> So let's bring something else. Let's bring another list. Let's let's look up. Let's move. So so we covered briefly TV shows. Beverly Hills. That's it. That's enough for me. We covered it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, okay. Buffy. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Exactly. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> that was like the best. And I didn't see it back then. I have seen it much uh, later. And I had a little bit trouble getting into it because I think the first two episodes, it's a little bit, I don't know, it, it just doesn't really flow. But uh, then it's really, really great show. But have you seen the film also? Did no, you see I the haven't. film? No. That was, okay. became, that came first, right? Yes. The film came first, and, yeah. Yes. And I saw the film. Like, yeah. I saw a little bit uh, of a documentary about it, and it didn't go as well as he like he wanted it to. And then he just put it into this format, and uh, yeah, it became a success. And took off. Exactly. Uh, I mean, what's what's interesting is just that uh, I don't know if if the if the same uh, movie actress had tried out for for when it when they made it as a TV show, but uh, but you you could kind of see that. The vibe is still there. Maybe the, maybe it's a little bit different in terms of how on the execution, but I mean, it, but it, oh, go ahead. It's not her. It was not her. Right. It wasn't her, but it was. It was a matter of just. Uh, I thought. I thought it was just interesting. Uh, you, I think it was like in the movie. It was like the same actor from Beverly Hills Nine Two Hundred One. Exactly. It was Dylan. That's why I saw it. It's because of Dylan. <laughs> I was gonna wonder. I was wondering about that. So, yes, guilty, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember, but it was also the golden years of MTV, and it was a mm -hmm. video clip, yeah. uh, about which I don't remember. Some dance film, what's it? A uh, music song. I I was trying to Google it. It was probably from CSC Music Factory. 
Uh, you mean the music or the movie? Uh, I'm sorry. No, it was like sure. a, it was very big back then. You know, you know the soundtracks. You know, you they released the song to promote the film, and it was on MTV all the time. And it was, you know, you get to see clips from the film. You know, it was a promotional thing. Well, it still is, but back then it was maybe bigger. Yeah. Right. So sorry. I got. I need uh, to just block my view a little bit. Okay. Of yes. Block us. Yes. Uh, but. Uh, I read, I liked the music. It was very dancey, kind of, and uh, Dylan, of course. So yeah. But yes, Buffy. I saw the film. Uh, I didn't see the series back then, like you. No. Yeah. So, and it was um, Sarah Michelle Geller that played in this show, and I think she did great. I mean, she exploded from that. Yes. Uh, no, not gonna make a sweat. Uh, well, I don't know if they're using it the same riff, but it's uh, you know, like keep it coming, ta dance till you can dance no more. Maybe they use the same riff, or you know, the core, or do you call the chorus? But it was very uh, distinctive CNC Music Factory to answer John, yeah. The music, I mean, the 90s, I, I, I feel very confused because I, I am like a rock and goth and dark and everything. But the dance and the pop of the 90s, I really, really, I mean, Madonna, Hello, Vogue. Wasn't that, was that in the 90s? Yes, Vogue. Vogue, it was in the 90s. But I, Vogue, Madonna, year. Ray of Light um, was in the 90s, that I remember. It was 1990, okay. exactly, 90. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Barely 80s, yeah, but yes, it's the beginning. I did think she was better in the 80s, but it was, she was a little bit, I don't know, she kind of changed it, her, her songs became, a bit. But you see, the, the format of the songs or how she, she presented the songs. Uh, later in the nineties, so I, I I didn't think her music was as good. You like eighties Madonna? Yes, but I I like Vogue, but I don't like Ray of Light. Uh, mm, yeah, I, I know what that that it was. I didn't like it either. That change, no. Mm. No. And what was that song? Okay, I like that song. The the kind of emo song she had. She like was it rain? Rain. Rain, maybe, maybe, yeah. But she had so. like a dark, yes, black like a dark, mm, yeah. Yes. yeah. That was okay, but I still like the the eighties. The eighties, <laughs> yeah. How about we transition to the reason why we brought Cersei yeah. with us today, and let's talk about something that uh, it's I don't know. Which, which everything prompted is us done. to have her? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because so, I, I was interested to hear more. First, you know, just like uh, the games that uh, just uh, really hit home with you uh, mm -hmm. at that time. It's like, for, for me, I think I think I know like what got me excited when you talked about the uh, Warcraft. There, uh, it, was it something that you played a lot of, or just uh, something that just hard to ignore? Or? Video games of the nineties featuring interesting. I didn't play Warcraft. That was something. I pl yeah, but you yeah. played other. From the 90s. Yes, I played other because, uh, like, my brother was really into gaming. So, uh, in like, I think 95, somewhere around, there was some kind of drive in our hometown that that all people should have a home computer. And it was something that my dad, because he worked at a big company, all could get a computer for that com company. So, we got a compact. That we have, and then uh, uh, so we played on that. And it mostly, it was my brother who played most of it, and maybe me and my little sister we like to sit next to him and watch him play. <laughs> but we did uh, get to try out uh, some of the games too. And the the what I remember mostly was Lands of Lore, but uh, uh, and that was kind of. It looks like Warcraft, like how it's, um, um, I mean, the, the graphics of it looks like Warcraft or uh, like Dune. 
I didn't love it, but I'm not. That's more a strategy kind of games. So I've never been into that, so that was not my kind of game. And I, and I played You're... Worms a lot. <laughs> worms, <laughs> Armageddon. That like, <laughs> who hasn't played Worms here? Confess yeah. now in the chat. I want to see it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I missed yeah. out on it. <laughs> what? Yes, I know. I, somehow it fell off my radar. I, I, I'm sh I, I, I shamefully admit. So, I mean, you, you got it out of me. I didn't want to incur your wrath any further. So, you know. Okay. We will forgive you. I have to admit, I didn't play it exactly in the 90s. Or maybe it was, I don't know, maybe 99 or like 2000. I mean, once. No, it's like on the cusp. So that's one of that. Yeah. But I remember playing Worms like Magadan on a computer for people. You know, on the same computer, you can make a team, you can play multiplayer on the same computer and like take, <laughs> taking turns. So it was first my sister, she was playing her turn, you know, it's turn based, you know, trying to kill the other. And then it was my brother, and then me, and then the cousin. So four people. <laughs> Playing worms on a computer, of course, crying uh, like from laughter completely. You know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like out of horror. No. No. But yeah. uh, in the nineties, I, I I googled now so that we have a list to talk about. Uh, did you play Zelda, sir? Thing. No, that was another. Mm. The thing is, I only had a computer. I didn't have a console. Ah. So yeah. So we didn't play those kind of games. And that's when I started to play these the adventure games. So mm -hmm. Monkey Island was like the first big. adventure, big adventure mm -hmm. that I love. Mm -hmm. And then Siberia. Oh, who, who actually did you Another big one, yes. Sorry, can you put down my camera a little bit? Just... <laughs> but I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it was in interesting that uh, what, um, what we you... had for. Uh, Put two, count so, two, yes. <laughs> sorry, button was stuck. But what was interesting is just that, uh, I, I mean, as big as Zelda was, I, I feel like I have to confess again, I hadn't played that much because, like, it was, wasn't was really big on, like, a, um, I was going to say Nintendo, but... Yes, no, I, I completely missed it because I didn't have a Nintendo console myself either. So, yeah, Zelda is big, huge. And apparently, we all of us have missed it. <laughs> Although it has a very catchy tune, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll give him that. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's, yeah, um, but uh, John mentioned Doom. Doom was in the nineties. Starcraft was in the nineties. Yep. And Heretic. I don't think I really played that much. I played. Um, uh, of course, Warcraft. Uh, so we have the the adventure. There were many adventure games big in the nineties. And um, what else we have here? Well, okay, we have of course Mario that has been forever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy VII ninety was out in nineteen ninety seven. Pokemon. I, mean, but I never played Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, I know like Sonic was big on Sega. The big one was like uh, on the was a Super NES was the the Golden Eye right. the James Bond game that was Golden one of the Eye earlier multiplayer game yeah uh, Resident Evil also you have played Resident Evil Thirsting. we were talking about zombies and uh, yeah no you're muted you don't have a you don't have a microphone see doesn't it? Diablo Diablo two yeah, yeah. We, now we can hear you. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes, I played Resident yeah. Evil. I think you're not alone. It's a. Uh, it was a. Uh, what was it? Oh, you have it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I have everything. Sorry, I don't have everything, but I have the ability to. <laughs> yes. I just have this pen here. So. I was flexing the other time, the other day. Don't you remember? I had also the I have the collectors. Yeah. Yeah. Humble brag. I got a plastic sandwich bag. Uh, it's not Diablo 2. No. I know it's not. No. Again, you got me there. But <laughs> I think, uh, what was it? Uh, so, yeah, 
Diablo 2. That's, I mean, that was, that was, that was more for the PC, wasn't it? Uh, um, I think yeah. So. Yeah, okay. But I didn't mm. do that. Also, I don't know, I don't, I missed that game. But actually, I played Diablo 3 and realized that's not my kind of thing either. So maybe I didn't miss it that much. I don't know. I might have been the game. But, well, there were many games from the 90s that we have missed and I have played it later on. And uh, let's not forget, never heard of old Bait, what? Diablo. Ha ha, Grimskull. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of games of the 90s also, Cersei, you are playing now uh, yeah. The Longest Journey, another adventure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Even and, if it's 1999, so it's very... It still counts. It still yeah. counts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're also... Uh, uh, guys and girls, you will go raid later after that. Searching stream because he's going to play uh, The Longest Journey, adventure game from the 90s. We're leaving it with yep. her. Yeah. Let me, let me uh, get the link up there so if folks want to check that out. Bring the technologies. Um, bring the, yes. Yeah, so I got the, uh, the link in the the, com- the comments there. So if you want to follow uh, Kirsten's... So like you uh, on the show, you guys would not be two. able to get to work in it once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, click the link and follow her and watch her playing The Longest Journey. And then there's a link earlier that uh, if you want to follow some more for her content there, I uh, highly recommend you guys to, to follow her. Let's even get her up to 100 there for her on, on our channel there you started gaming but, in the late 70s grimscon did you play pong <laughs> exactly what was the game we played like the space invaders I thought you guys... <laughs> that's a good game <laughs> well it's on atari it is a good game. i mean on the, on the atari it's joystick a... yeah well it's 80s Ooh, i like but... that mug yep yeah you played Pong like ding, and, ding, ding. Yeah. We actually, I actually played Pong also. It was mm-hmm. still a thing uh, on the <laughs> Commodore 64. <laughs> no, it was not. No, it was the other one, the Inter Television kind of console. That oh, in, oh, ColecoVision? No, it's called like Intel Television. Oh, in, oh no, you're right. Intel, Intel Television. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's that. We had that. Um, we did? Okay. Yeah, because like those joysticks, it was a little bit hard with the number pads and the little yeah, knob there. And, you just... pads and it was like like a round thing you <laughs> like move over. Yes, yes, Intel. I mean, I'm beginning if uh, if uh, Nintendo had that idea when they had like the game pad there, when they had you working on your thumbs and your hand going. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing yeah. a dance movement here, but, but, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's like a doesn't matter 90s 80s it's the same (laughs) it's the old (laughs) picture i was waiting for you to say that (laughs) the old days back then when we were kids well i mean there was like the hand you had the handheld games too so yeah you were on the gamut anything you can do the the... the backgammon but we played the one with like the really bad animated uh uh, what do you say, tanks? Like dip, dip, oh, dip, the, the dip, tank dip. Game, combat. <laughs> and then the, the tank around. would just go around circles. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> combat. I remember it was taking forever. It was yeah, not very easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It, it seems like any anyone talks about Atari, they, they always think about like what was the worst Atari game for that time, and everyone points to E.T. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I still get these random pop-ups where they have this article like, where are they now? And uh, for the game E.T., it almost looks like a picture of like a landfill. And they, they took all the cartridges here and just threw it out there. I'm like, I'm like, can they recycle that? But I like combat better, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the list here about things that happened in the 90s uh, that you found, um, uh, Robert. Do you yeah. know what other thing happened in the 90s that I didn't register it? 
two years older than me. It in was, terms of, so is it like in terms of like uh, uh, happened historically or, or games or? Uh, not it's not a game, uh, no, no, but it's was it? It was uh, Harry Potter, Harry P Potter, Harry okay. Potter. But I don't think it's the film; it's the book. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, I guess. Harry I guess Potter, first book release date. Let's see what Google says. Okay. 1997. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The first novel in 1997. Wow, I didn't know it was in the 90s. I mean, yeah. Okay. EverQuest. EverQuest. I remember that. The Gulf War happened in the 90s. <laughs> Yes, true. Hi, Hans. Yeah, hi, hello there. The nineties. Yeah, we are talking about the nineties. Well, not only uh, it's it's an interesting mix. <laughs> Pitfall. I remember EverQuest too. I missed EverQuest. Did you play? Did you remember EverQuest, Thirsty? Uh, I'm not sure. If I do, I do. I do remember. Like, I, 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 something triggers me when I. Hear it. <laughs> it rings a bell. <laughs> uh, okay, John seems to be informed. Chamber of Secrets in ninety eight and Prisoner of Azkaban nineteen ninety nine. So those were the release dates of the books. And Grimskull says, "Yeah, Gulf War. He was there." So we have some big milestones here. Some big things happening in the nineties. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I dare asking? I, I don't dare, I guess. I don't know. No. It's, yeah. It's good that you're here with us now, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to say anything more stupid. So. <laughs> well, you take the pressure um, off of me, so. I feel pressured here, exactly. So let's say... Uh, no, no worries, no worries. I mean, just, I mean, uh, I mean, we talked about the about about the video games and just, uh, and just in general, just how like uh, people's tastes are certainly different, whether it's movies or uh, TV, and just they're totally different than what we recall. But I mean, it just, I mean, it just, I think it just really boils down to is like where you are uh, in your period of time, which sticks out more. So naturally, folks at that time that they say were the top 90s, they're a lot older than what we thought. And so our, our memories are going to be a little bit different, yeah. but we just say one was, was better than the other. Well, uh, I, I will make the exception, the fact mm -hmm. that there's in T2, that's... <laughs> but, um, but it's all good. <laughs> Hi, Rich. Uh, John no, says the New York no. Rangers win the first Stanley Cup in 54 years back in 1994. I guess a big thing for... You yeah, guys for New York Rangers in the 90s. And then Grimskull is asking, do I dare ask you, you know what else happened in the 90s? Do I want to know from you, Grimskull? I'm a bit scared. Okay. I'll take a shot. Happened? I know like, uh, if we talk sports, I know like the Buffalo Bills lost the Super Bowl like uh, three straight years. I only remember this because uh, when I was in college, I was in uh, Rochester, New York, and there were like quite a few, like it has a very heavy presence of Buffalo Bills fans. And the one thing I can't get out of my mind is that they have these ugly zebra plants that are red and blue okay. all over the campus. Big Bills fan. And it was driving me nuts. So when they lost the Super Bowl, I couldn't help but just kind of like what and uh and everything. But uh but that I know that was that was probably one of the, the vivid memories of, of sports uh, in the early 90s, which I'm, I'm guessing that it's probably different than what, uh, what Grimskill's probably going to suggest. But, um... Yeah. Uh, Might right now, Bill, thank you sincerely. Okay. I love the sports. So oh, no, yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, no, it's just like he's referencing the uh, uh, the Bills uh, kicker, uh, Scott Norwood, where first Super Bowl that they came in, they played against the Giants, and w and when he was supposed to kick the ball, it would have won them their first Super Bowl, but the it was like I think a little bit over fifty yards, and the ball just went. Wait, it's uh, wide right, so it'd be. Oh wait, on camera, I'm like, okay, 
but uh, and it was it, he had a hard time living that down. So that's that's what the reference that uh, like Miss Girl is making. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, we have no. I mean, I have no clue about Super Bowls and everything. I mean, we just know the 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 break, the, the advertisements that are kind of big and songs in the halftime. Super, but that's about it. And then, Grimskal, you were not here from the start. We talked about the world that was about to end because of the year, of the Y2K. Yeah, we covered that. And Justin said that said it's a pity that we didn't explode. <laughs> which is a big. Which is a... no, no, no. That was not what I meant. I meant okay. that some things that are shared in the internet now because sometimes the social media today and. It's not that because that, I'm not uh, for cancel culture. I just well, think it's, maybe it's we right. don't need to know everyone's opinion all the time. That's, that was just what I wanted to say. Okay, 100% agree. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course, I had to make a joke, of course. But yes, I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, back then we were not politically correct in the 90s. Also, it's and people were not easily offended about stuff. I guess I don't know. It's it's it was a lot different time. Sure, no, yeah. no worries, no worries. I mean, it it, it was it's just that. Um... Oh God, I lost my train of thought. Vanilla ice. Thank you. <laughs> exactly, ice, ice, baby. Nineties. I thought it was like. I'll I'll work on my head, Bob's. Oh, now I look like a chicken. Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's that's what's great about the replay. So if you guys missed the earlier talk about uh, Y two K, you can just rewind the, the video uh, to, to catch that. But um, we didn't talk about uh, the, but I guess it's so what? The what didn't we say? Euro disco, please, Hello, Sersti, please, <laughs> exactly. We have to. Please, you are more. Are you doing this? I'm kind of thinking about this, like away. yeah, E type. <laughs> and I was thinking, thinking about Hathaway. Oh, Hathaway. Oh. Baby, don't. Is that Hathaway the angry inch? Don't hurt me. No. No more. Exactly. We don't. Oh. Did you ever hear about the Euro disco? <laughs> <laughs> or it was Euro Disco or Euro Trash? Many were saying also, but Euro Euro Disco <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, here we go. Exactly. We have Haraway E Type. What else? Um, um, wait, I have to. The Macarena. Yeah. Scooter. I did tell you that we were going to do the Macarena, didn't I? Exactly, <laughs> Macarena. <laughs> Correct. See, I was hoping she was saying macrame and just kind of like. Make, never mind. No. No. Um, well, a lot of things happened in the nineties. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Modern yeah. talking, but Night they were the really. Haven't you seen uh, that one? Uh, I haven't seen the film, but now I get the reference. I was like, I thought you were doing something else with what, what you're saying, but now <laughs> let's just let's just say I'm a little. Let's just say, like the, the Y two K bug just just took away my memory there. Okay, okay. Point. I'll blame on the I'll blame on the Gremlins. How's that? Uh, I'm trying to find some like big names of the Euro, but uh, Google is not uh, helping me here. Uh, I mean, big. I mean, uh, what, what what are a couple of things that just start screaming out when you think? Euro there, Xanthi. For me, it's Hada here, Hadaway. Sandra, Modern Talking, okay. Dr. Alban. Hello, Dr. Alban. Okay. Uh, and we're talking about Swedish. Uh, what is it? it uh, mm, no. I don't know. Scooter. I mean, what else was yeah, like scooter. scooter? Yes. Um, it was oh. like MTV all over. Like, I yeah. don't know. I was watching a lot of MTV. Uh, 
Uh, I'll just go under the beat. Corona, exactly. It's my life. Yes, Dr. Alban is my life. Corona, exactly. The rhythm of the night, wasn't that? Mm. Yes. Snap. Yes. Exactly. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Keep going. Two unlimited. Yeah. Oh my God, two unlimited. <laughs> exactly. Yes. yes. I'm still listening to that kind of music. I love your listening. Me too. Instead of a, that, we should have a 90s party online. But we probably get blocked, muted directly from all the <laughs> copyright. Uh, and, probably. <laughs> Or you can like lip sync it or just play the music backwards and just have like subtitles underneath. <laughs> or we just have muted and we just dance, but with no music. <laughs> and you have to guess what's, what's guess the oh, song. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, it could be like like if you go like the drive-in movies where like you can only see the picture, but you have to provide your own sound. You just do it for the live stream there. We just provide the pictures and they'll just provide their own sound. Where are you going on Sunday, Rich, exactly? Mixcloud. I'm not sure. Mixcloud. Are you going to see two unlimited? Or, or, no. <laughs> Mixcloud is kind of what you can have in your own radio shows. Well, I know Rich has his own his own show. Uh, hey, Rich, if you want to throw your, your link up there, I'll throw it up oh. here so that people can get your show. Is it the 90s? I know he takes takes requests, so uh, and uh, there's there's some quite good big mixture of uh, uh, Collins. Uh, we yeah, we cannot make you mode because yeah, I'm not on. Uh, we're on restream. <laughs> but uh, I think we can make him a mod on on one of our YouTube channels. But put it without like dots, and people can figure it out, I guess, and we can or maybe write it without with spaces and maybe we can put it together i might be i'll see if i can try to pull it up there uh rich just to throw it up there now I'll, I'll be able to share it mm. i'll figure it out but uh okay. but yeah so, so that so he has his own uh on requests uh it's pretty cool humor too uh and i'll get that for you but uh basically so that um I'll just look for it. But yeah, so um, Eurotechn. Yes, Eurodance. Cultural origins: Belgium, Netherlands, West Germany. East. Okay, back then it was West and East Germany. Oh my God, I'm going to get so cancelled today. <laughs> um, Sweden was big. Italy, United Kingdom, North America. What was it? Two Unlimited Snap, Captain Hollywood Project, Culture Beat, Hathaway. Yeah. Um, was it, but it wasn't in the 90s too. Which one? Scooter. Because it, I, uh, I listened to them when I was in uh, like ninth grade. And that was like 98. Scooter is old. Wait, uh, the band was founded in 1993 in Hamburg, Germany. Yes, so because I'm an old fart, I remember him, them, him. Yeah, Scooter. Yeah. I don't know if you're that old, so. Um, well, but, uh, yeah, uh, no, but okay, yeah. But I was gonna say, like, uh, I don't, I, I know, like, uh, Kristen has to get ready for a show, uh, yeah. so I don't want her to miss that. So I really appreciate you. Come join us and uh, look forward to have you back again uh, if if you're totally up for it because this is this is total blast to have you on here with us. Uh, helps yeah, to keep I'm me sorry honest too. About go raid her. Go no, raid. No, no. no. he's a oh, gamer. Oh, no, said... We are all gamers here. Oh, raid. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I forget what I thought you said. <laughs> raid. Never mind. Uh, no raid. I, I... Raid the live. Go to okay. her live. Raid. Her. But I didn't say yes. anything. Sorry, you can use me. And, like, and uh, my husband will probably be on that too. So it's just getting Perfect. used to it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Two gamers no being live. So no, definitely. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's it's definitely have fun to have you on, Kristen. Look forward to have you back on again, and uh, we'll, we'll make sure you don't uh, miss your show. So I'll uh, no. give you the easy. We have the link on the on the comments. So go check it, check it out uh, for part two of the longest journey. And uh, thanks for coming on, Kristen. Yes, thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Yes. yes. Bye-bye.
Bye. 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 But uh, we are still here. Uh, staying here i'm actually playing diablo 2 d2 is it diablo resurrected no d2 what is that uh are we still talking about the pc game uh, let's see uh okay i'm here yep am i here here as uh okay. yeah oh wait diablo yes yeah. okay i'm just all right, I'm just trying to uh, follow along the the comments matching up what you're talking about. <laughs> no technology, no tech issues today whatsoever, guys and girls. Like everything is running smoothly. <laughs> now, now, no, I'm just trying because like you're you're commenting something. I'm trying to follow along with the chats here, but okay. So it's Diablo two, got it. Yeah, I almost says Diablo. I have to do Diablo. Not to be confused with Candy Crush or anything like that. So oh, revamp. Okay, yes. Uh, this is just the old one. This is not the revamped one. This is just the old classic one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So the nineties was a, it is a complicated decade. You think eighties more complicated than nineties? No, I think eighties is more straightforward. To be honest, the nineties it's yeah. the transition from the eighties and the, before. The, okay, the zeros for me is a complete mix mess here. Uh, but I think the night is it's complicated because it's so many different styles, music, culture, films, TV shows, and it's the transition from the old times to the modern times for me, I guess, for us, I don't know, for me, because I'm a teenager, so I was transitioning from my childhood to be an adult. What did I, wow, well, oh my God, so much philosophy here, deep thinking. <laughs> Well, I mean, you think about it. I mean, right around that time, between the two decades, the transitioning as a way of how you're communicating and just the disseminating a lot of the uh, the uh, the entertainment and material. So uh, it's just the beginning of the idea of just people being splintered as to the the different types of uh, medium the media they consume, whether it's audio, uh, visual, in terms of you know, videos or what you read and it just, mm -hmm. it's just starting to like widen out with the, with the dawning of the internet. So, um, like you say, like eighties was a lot simpler just because everything was kind of confined TV. You only had like pretty much like three choices to watch for channels and stuff. So it's all centralized. So, um, yes, I Ritz. Say, I hear yes. <laughs> on the show. Yes. Uh, correct. Correct. I mean, eighties were simple. You had the standard TV channels, you had magazines. And that's it. Radio. Yeah. Now you have podcasts. Then, yeah. And then it's the nineties so... started and then suddenly you had the internet and you people had access to everything and you know, yeah, it was different. Exactly. But still it's just interesting just as to the, the different types of uh, innovation that comes up with each different iterations of mm. music, movies and what have you. And uh yeah, I mean Mm -hmm. oh, I was just gonna say, like, just uh, for me, it's always fascinating. Is wherever you are, not to sound too deep, but just wherever you are in your life, you know what you, what you, what is, what's your favorite or what you remember is different. Whether you're on the younger side or in the matured side or somewhere in the middle, so um, so naturally, all all tastes and what have you is gonna vary. So, which is very interesting. Yeah, I knew I knew you'd get upset about the about the Matrix not making it there. So, <laughs> I mean, hello, come on, who makes a '90s list that doesn't put the Matrix, and who makes a music list? I mean, even though I liked all of the music, seventy percent of that list of the song of the '90s, yeah, and you don't include Guns and Roses. Yeah, sound I mean, garden. Cause... You don't include sound. And what about Metallica? I'll, I'll... Yeah, what's interesting is what's not not on the list as to what's on it. So, uh, I I because like what I was looking for was just like something that was like has like a wide spectrum of of different mo music and culture. But this one just like really went the extreme. I'm like, ooh, it's gonna be an interesting list this year. So, <laughs> exactly, Andrew Sandman, exactly, and one. And sad but true. And I mean, yeah. Next time, Robert, we you will put 
you will pull up a list like that and we will have the so-called official list and then we have our own list next to it and we make a comparison correct right yeah yeah i i i definitely know like what stuff would be on for sure when it comes to sci-fi so <laughs> me but me i mean <laughs> I will continue the show like this. Ah, you can see my ring light here. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, hold on to your uh, uh, and there, handlebars. You can see us. I see. It's it's a ring. Yeah. <laughs> this might be a little bit loud, but. <sighs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> I was afraid I might blow out uh, Kirsten's uh, ears out when I play that one. So no, <laughs> it's okay. And but, granted, um, one hour to discuss about, or roughly an hour. Our show is roughly an hour. There's no time yeah. specific, but around that is too short to cover such a broad subject like the '90s. I mean, we didn't even talk about half of the things we wanted to talk. Probably, isn't the '90s oh, yeah. when Metallica died? No. <laughs> I say nothing because uh, I, I have uh, no opinion because I have no. Unless opinion. I'm confused about the dates, let me just let me just do a search, a, a quick googling. Okay, she's gonna Google. Ah, uh, discography. You're probably thinking about reload. That's when they okay, yeah. Uh, mm, was it this one? Let me see. I, I cannot say that I am like an a Metallica expert, but okay. exactly no. I mean, we're talking about 1991, where their album uh, Metallica is their fifth studio album. It says here, yeah. Okay. And we're talking about Ender Sandman, Sad But True, The Unforgiven, Wherever I May Roam, Nothing Else Matter. I mean, do I have to continue? Nirvana, definitely. There you go. Yeah. So, no, they didn't die in the 90s. That happened a bit later. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yeah. I had to no say worries. <laughs> Uh, I was just gonna say, Rich, I, I added you as a moderator. I think on on one of the YouTube channels, so you can throw up your your link there, uh, so people can catch you up on on Mixcloud, so that you'll be good to go. Um, let's see what have we got here. Uh, isn't that yeah? Because after that came load and then reload, and I mean, yeah, I can agree to that. Um, golden coin hundred. Yeah, load was not no. Uh, it says that it was nineteen ninety one, the Metallica album that is called Metallica. So it counts as the nineties. After that, yeah, it was not Metallica. I have to agree to that. But it's still in the nineties. Okay, that's the important thing. Exactly. <laughs> so let's. Well, uh, let me take a quick look. See if there's oh, Sersing that... says that she cannot go live when I am still live. You don't, don't know. Oh, I think she's... Um, oh, because you're on Restream, right? Yeah, I think our channels. Yeah, because it's paired her... Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's not uh, sabotage it for Sersing. Let's... Uh... All right, so let, let me... Uh, let's uh, get out of uh, Restream here. And uh, it's going to... We're going to, like, wrap up so that Kristen can go on. So... Uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching. Uh, Thank you, everyone. I guess, Kristen, you better stay on so you don't get booed off on your own channel. Um, Rich has thrown his link up uh, for those who want to catch uh, on Mixcloud. Just a big thanks for helping us out here with the um, with the trivia there. Uh, Xanthi, it's always always a pleasure. And uh, next Same. month, not sure. Thanks. Next month, not sure what we're going to talk about, but be sure to look out uh, for our posts on social media as to what we'll yes. cover. But some it'll be definitely on the first week of each month, either Thursday, Friday, Wednesday. Um, yes, follow us on our social media to get the updates and everything. 
which you'll find in, in the description. So uh, we're going to sign off and uh, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.